we watched a video by Tadashi Takeda, and uh, we wanted to go a little beyond what he showed. Uh, I'm going to start off with just a loop of paper. If I cut this in half, everybody knows what's going to happen. If I cut it the wrong way like this, oh, you get two loops. Nothing interesting there. But if you take two loops, taped together, and then you cut down, starting in the middle of one loop, till you get to the intersection, go all the way around, and then do the other one all the way around, it becomes a little more interesting. Let's see what happens. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the middle part for last. Alright, can you hold the top right there? Alright, so I'm going to cut through here. Think about what's going to happen here when I cut all the way through. And what happens? Let's see. Let's see if I can flatten it out. You get a square. That's kind of weird. We're going to try doing a little more interesting. We're going to go beyond two loops. All right, now I have three loops that are looped together. Each loop is pointing a different direction than the one above it and below it. All right, so I'm going to start cutting this one. Now, what do you think will happen when this is cut all the way through? What do you think will happen now? This time it comes into two shapes. You have two rectangles. Not squares anymore, rectangles. Right, before, with the two loops, we'd end up with one square. Now we got two rectangles. It's half as wide as our original square, but the same length. And we have four loops. This is where it gets really weird. First of all, how many pieces do you think we're going to end up with? Is it going to be one piece, like when we had two loops? Or is it going to be two pieces, or now three, or four? Alright, can you hold from the top again? See what we end up with. It looks like a mess, right? Let's try to flatten it out as much as possible. Let's see if that comes over this way, over this way. Well, that's weird. <laughs> we get kind of four little squares interlocking. This looks a lot like a pattern you see in a lot of Irish artwork traditional Irish work. Nice. Let's do five loops now. Let's do this. Alright. Now before I cut this one, we don't know, we haven't done this one before, so we're not sure exactly what it's going to look like. So let's see. Pretty sure it's going to be two pieces, but I don't know beyond that what each one will look like. So you don't do that one, I'll do this one. Uh oh, I don't know if this one can be flattened. Yeah. That's what I get. <laughs> two boxes with a loop. If I tried to flatten this any further, I'd have to keep lifting up some other part. It's I keep not back possible to that, so. I don't think it's possible. Alright, so it's like two rectangle, two squares, a little collar in the middle. Hmm. Alright. Next is six. Six should be good. Alright, what are we going to get this time? Is it going to be one loop? Two loops? More? Let's see. Do this. 
Well, looks like it's all one big loop. Let's see if we can flatten this one down. Which one are we starting? <laughs> Imagine how hard 10 will be to find. Uh, I don't want to think about it. Where's our answer key? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Alright, this is what you get. Similar kind of pattern as with the four. It goes around the outside. There's a little loop under there. It comes around this way. It comes around this way and all around. And it does... Same four squares. It looks a lot like this one. This was four. This was four loops connected together. This one is six loops. But instead of connecting, going from one little square to the next on the inside, it's now going from one to the next around the outside, like this, and then go to the next one around, then that way, and around that way. Interesting. How about seven? All right. We don't know what this one is. You might be wondering uh, if there's a pattern going on here, and I think I can explain it. If we have an odd number like this one, you'll end up with two different strips when you cut them apart. And one way to think about why that is, if you start on the front edge of one of these circles, and then you, uh, once all cuts are all done, this will be connected to the left edge of this circle which will be connected to the front edge on this side, left edge on the front, left edge on this side of this one, left edge of the front part here, and around you'll come back and you'll end up going all the way right back here and you'll come back to where you were on the same side on the top loop. And everything on this side will be in a separate, will be separated by cuts. So you have one complicated shape in the front and one complicated shape in the back. With an even number, though, if you start the same way, start at the front edge of this circle, you'll come down, let's go this way, come down the left edge of this circle, left edge on the front, you stay on the left, what you'll end up with is you'll come down and you'll end up coming around the back side now of these, this whole shape. And then you'll follow it up on the left back side you come up, and then you'll be on the back side on the very top loop, and then you have to come back all the way down, and you'll end up looping around to the front, and then coming back up. So you'll loop all the way around, and finally come around to the front here without ever having to cross a cut. So this will all be one shape when we get to this one. But first, seven. I'm going to cut this one differently. I'm going to cut all the way through, and then cut down the sides as if it were still together. Finally, this one here, which will separate it into two separate pieces. Right? This was a seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's yours, there's mine. I bet we can't flatten it again. Well, we kind of sort of can. Look at this. Mine just kind of flattened already. Really? It's kind of a weird, it's kind of like a pretzel. Oh, yeah. I can't quite make it perfectly flat. Yes, you can. Oh, well, I guess you Because can. it has to go under. Around, it's looking a bit like that Irish pattern. Oh, yeah, you can. Weird. Okay. You just oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No. You just kind of kind of... There we go. Alright, so it makes a shape like this. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Glasses. Let's do the eight. There you go. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, let's see what we can do here. Yes. Ho! Oh! <laughs> it works. <laughs> All right. Let's compare it to the six. Let's uh, let's see how this works. So this is the four loops here, and I had the loops coming around through the middle each time to connect. 
This was the six. That one connected around the outside, going around this way. And this one is connecting back through the middle again. Uh, we got this one. I'll start in the top here, then it kind of spirals down to the very bottom layer. Cuts over this direction, spirals up, comes this way. Spirals then down on this one, spirals over, spirals up, and back to the beginning. That's weird. Weird is right. So what is the number 9 and 10? We're going to do 9 and 10 and then stop. Here's the 9 loops. It should separate into how many different loops? Two. Uh, we're going to have two pieces of paper at the end, but we don't know what they're going to look like. Mm. This one looks more like legs. It's great. Ooh, this looks like a bundle of fun. Let's mm. do this. Let's do the, the collar. collar. Ah. Uh, with, and there's the collar. And I don't think that can be flattened all the way. Uh, Alright, we got one more. The Ted. Ten. Let's think about this. When we did the four, it did the loops the around inside. the inside. Six did it around the outside. Eight did it around the inside again. So it's going around the so outside. So maybe ten will go around the outside. But who really knows? But it's hard to picture. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> Let's get started. All right. I'll hold here. This might be a minute. Again, it's uh, four squares, and just like we predicted, it was going to go around the outside to go from one square to the next. Except now, each, t each time, now this is ten loops, so when it curls around here, it actually goes around two full times, then goes to the next loop, two full times, and at the top, goes to the next loop, two full times, around, around, and boom. So that pattern will probably continue For forever, a long time. I think. Whenever you have the even number, you get one long strip that you can do either going through the middle, if it's divisible by four, I think you'll go through the middle, like with the four here, goes like this, and this was the eight, so if it's divisible by four, you'll go connect from one rect square to the next through the middle, like close to the center. Like on this one and this one, if it's not, if it's an even number but not divisible by four, it looks like you'll connect it on the outside. So this is the ten did that, the six did that as well, the and two. the two. I don't even remember what the two did. Just a box, so it would yeah, go around the outside. Oh yeah, I mean, if you think about the square that we made with the two. So even, even this square. Ah. Oh, goes around the outside. Except you don't do a loop each time, you just go here and you keep on going. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> you didn't figure this one out yet. Here we did. It looks messed up. Oh.